the product. The product they gave us, the one we lost, not knowing the deeper meanings, but finding reasons to fuss. Identity crisis of slavery mindsets, believing what we do will make us more righteous. And despite the stigma against our culture's natural actuality, we stand oblivious to the truth behind our conditioned reality and hold on to our insanity, trying to reshape our mindsets, our image, and in turn oppressing our morality. Because somewhere down the line, to know who we are, we must have forgot. As sisters, we press and bleach, trying to be somebody they're not. Brothers pushing towards the light, a brighter pigmentalities with no real desire, no reason to aim higher because they believe higher is lower than what they require. Not realizing our subconsciously oppressive behavior because we're too busy trying to do what they favor. Fighting between our ignorance that seems so bliss and our subconscious that makes us know what we really miss. Brothers with cultural insecurities, not realizing the natural beauty of their sisters. Emotional pain within sisters, just trying to be attracted to their misters. Staying above the surface with the issues conditioned to make us feel worthless. Mentally telling our people they ain't good enough to deserve us. They sell us products that in reality hurt us. We nurture their lies that we fail to understand because we remain at base level to the truth behind their plan selling us their product and promoting their brand. And we foolishly paying dignity and self-respect, not knowing what to expect, but hoping that we do what they want and we've done it correct, as we live in fear. Fear of how many straight lines sisters must put in their hair. Fear of the status brothers must have for their future careers. We suffer in pain, shed our tears, and nobody cares. We believe to deceive the natural beauty that we fail to perceive, from the reasons we deny to the hard situations because we're just trying to get by. We must shine in our own eyes, but instead we shine in their lives. We can't hide the pain that is burning inside. We wake up to look in the mirror, searching for our humanity, through vanity fed by the visions of lies that try to reshape our reality. From the media to business, to the streets where we walk and witness a brother of color stress and reject the darker, so she applies light and makeup like paper to a permanent marker. We follow the wrongs, failing to be strong, so we end up weak, submitting defeat, killing ourselves because they can't take the heat. Temptation so bitter, but seeming so sweet, chasing the wrong meat, unable to understand the situation so deep. This product no longer belongs to us, but it has now become part of us. We get caught up in the rush, pain in like funds of a child trust, because for us it's a must. Innocent children deceived to believe the images they see, wanting to live the life they watch running on TV. Enforced by PG, parental guidance, wrongly given but correctly seen. So the dolls of our own image are rejected on the scene. Our color bleeds, although it never should. And we happen to see less than any blind man would. Emotionally cut ourselves deeper than any emo ever could. As we're endlessly never knowing how our pain keeps on growing. We're stereotyped with the worst of heights. We could pull a wallet from our pocket and for us it could be good night. Our name is claimed at the bottom of the food chain. Predators feast while vultures feed on our remains. But our time will come when our kings and queens unite as one. Until then, I do what I feel must be done. Liberation tactics with spoken word as the bullet from my gun. But until we realize the situation and these issues are resolved, then the product of our pain won't stop being sold.